Okay. <clears throat> Good morning. <sighs> I'm just making myself some tea. I kind of feel nauseous. So I've got some hibiscus healer tea mate brewing. Okay. I'm going to put these aside because I'm going to do something different. This for now is I am going to finish these, these ones here. But I'm not going to finish these ones because I'm going to make something different with these. Um, but these bowl covers, I will be finishing them. But just not today. It's not today, Stephen, because I'm going to start on something different. I need, I'm going to show you something different. Um, I need that. I need all this batting and all this in thin soy. Okay, we're good. Now, shit, I forgot to post it. I'll do that after. Anyway, I am going to make different pot holders. And I will link this lady's YouTube where I learned this from. So I'm going to make the template for this right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pin my papers together because they I don't want them to move around. All right. So we need to cut a... I got to change my rotary blade anyway. Okay, I'm just going to cut here. So I'm going to use it to cut this paper with. So I'm just going to cut uh, a straight line. So you need to cut seven and three quarter inch. We're making two templates. You need two. Just so you know. Now you need to cut this to seven and three quarters. So five, six, seven, and three quarters. And of course, my pin's in the way. You can't cut over that. So here we are again. Five, six, seven, and three quarters. So make sure that's straight. That's straight. All right. Seven and three quarters by six. So we'll just hold it on here. Five, six. Okay. But I will link her. I'm going to do something that's going to use way less fabric to make the pot holders. Okay, now for sure, I need a pin in this. Because I don't want these moving. So I'll put it in the middle. Now I'll get a pencil and mark the three line. And then on the top side, you go down two inches. So I'll do it this way. Two inches, and you make a mark. Two inches, make a mark. And then on the bottom, you're going to go in a one and a quarter inch here from the sides. And then one and a quarter inch on this side. Okay. Now we're going to draw. A line from here. Actually, I'm not even going to draw a line. I'm just going to cut. You are in my way. From this corner to this corner. Same over here. This corner to this corner. And... From this one and a quarter inch to this corner here, we're going to cut. And same over here. From there to this corner, cut. 
and there's your template. All right, so seven and three quarters by six. Two inches here and make a mark, three inch mark there, and one and one quarter on each of these sides here. Now, you're going to take this template and you're going to measure it from top to bottom at three inches up. You know what? I can't see that. So one, two, I can see the line over here. And you're going to cut this in half. This is your template. For, you need two templates. See so all this. So for this, we need to cut two. So you can cut whatever fabrics you want. You have to cut two and cut two, three inches here. And then that bigger piece there. Hi, Pam. Hi, Lise. Good morning. All right. Now let's get to cutting this out of our fabric. So I want one of these to fit. And will this fit on this way? Yep. So I'm going to cut that there, but I need my black too. All right. So let's line these up. So we're going to cut this portion a little short at the bottom. Put a pin in it. And then over here, we're going to cut two pieces of this. Doesn't really matter. And over here, we'll cut two pieces this way. And put a pin in. Okay. I'm going to change my blade because this one is getting very dull from cutting so much. Oops. Let's grab a new blade. Oopsies. My used blades go in here. And these are my new blades very oily. Okay. I'm going to just grab the scrap piece of fabric and wipe some of this oil off. All right. So let's stick it on there. To clean out your rotary cutter too. Put this back on here. Easy peasy change over. Okay. Morning. Morning. Now I have a nice sharp blade and oil everywhere. Oof. <laughs> Hello, oh, ladies. Veronica oh, wants to know if you're still doing diamond dots. Yeah, just put it away for a little bit. All right, so I'm just going to use my ruler to cut this out. I am not cutting this out with scissors, but you can if you want. Oh, I did. Shoot. it turned out really cool, Pam. Um, backwards. My blade is backwards. <laughs> Oopsies. There's a video on it. I think it's the last video up. 
Of what, Martha? That uh, saddlebag oh, right. box I made. All right. Now we got it the right way. Okay, let's cut this out. I'm trying to get the gumption up to get to Home Depot. What do you got to get? I get that board cut and paint and staples for my staple gun. And all that kind of good stuff. The good stuff, eh? Yeah. And Terry called. He guess uh, they're not going to take the fire in until Monday. Oh, so you don't have to go get him now and he's not going to help you. I told him, oh, well, that just blew my day. So what do you mean? I says, because I was going to have you come over and help me. He says, well, I can do that, but, uh, you know, it's going to be really hot today, and I don't have no air conditioning in my car. It's like, oh, my freaking God. <laughs> oh, turn me a river. Yeah, no kidding. Like, how far away does he live? Oh, what, 10 minutes, 12 minutes? Oh, 10 minutes in his car was going to kill him. Yeah, right. Okay. That's what so I'm when... saying. He just whimpers at everything. When you cut this, make sure you cut... This side, and that doesn't really matter because they're the same, but a, a lining piece because you need two of these. Good morning, Shatika. Hi, Shatika. Good morning. So as you can see, I'm going to be making, oh, shoot, I should have cut my two. I, want, I wasn't thinking. Oh, darn it. I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to put this on here so I can get two done because I need a matching set to go with the bowls. we got Diane Parker. Hi, Diane. Veronica, Pam, Lise, good morning. Well, lucky you, Pam. She said it's only going to be high as 62 there. Yeah, it's not going to be very hot here. Wow, lucky you all. Yeah. It's going to be another 88 degrees with high humidity, I guess. All right. Uh, Saturday and Sunday is supposed to be 90. Ooh, yuck. Okay, I got to think my water is boiling for my tea. I got to go to sleep with my tea. I'll be right back. Must be nice. I can't wait for freaking 70 degree weather. Really? I mean, as soon as I get up, I turn that air conditioner on. It's the only way to keep it that decently cool in here. And this little Holly May woke me up at 7. Well, good morning, Cheryl. Uh, from Minot, North Dakota. Your hot flashes are looking forward to it. <laughs> so this is the tea I'm steeping right now. It's called Hibiscus Healer. I have an upset stomach. Um, it has hibiscus, apple, candied pineapple, pineapple sugar, ginger, natural wild berry, lemon, flavoring, robust sweet blackberry leaf, and chili. Ooh, a tea. Yeah. Look, oh, it smells so good. Look. Wow, nice. Yeah, it's steeping in the pot right now. So we'll leave it sit. And then I'm going to have some tea. And hopefully I feel better. What are we making now, my dear? We are making finger pot holders. Oh, okay. Oh. See, the problem with pins, I'll make your ruler slide everywhere. Yeah. Uh, I have a hard time doing this with a pin on it because it just slides. So now we're going to cut this one out again because I wasn't paying attention because you need a set of two. There we go. Now we'll have our two.
Again, I will post the lady's video that I learned this from below in my description box when this video uploads. I just forgot to do that. I copied it and pasted it. Or I copied it. I just didn't paste it. <laughs> forgot to. Okay, so there's my two pieces of that. Put that aside. Now we'll cut these out. So cutting through four layers. And I have no problem doing that with this rotary cutter. With a nice sharp blade. Yes, brand new blade, of course. The other one, I could tell it was starting to get dull because it was it was leaving little nicks, you know what I mean? I have to go back yeah. over them. Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of annoying. Sharp blades really make a difference. Yes, they do. Whether it's cutting material or cutting wood. Yes, sharp blades for everything. Works wonders. Okay. Over here, this doesn't look right. Looks like I left a little bit of fabric overhanging. I don't want to already mess these up. Okay, Pam. You have a good day. Have a good day, Pam. Thanks for stopping by. All right, there's my four pieces of that. Debbie wants to know how much you pay for your blades. Um, I get them on Amazon, and I get them in packs of 10. I think it's like 20 bucks. They're really good blades. They're probably from, they're from Japan, that I know. The Japanese always make really good sharp tools. So I just buy them in a pack of 10. And I was trying to link the thing where I buy them in my Amazon associate account, but I couldn't find them in there. I guess they don't, I couldn't get it to find the link for me. So I don't know if it was, I was doing something wrong or what, but it didn't work. Okay, so we're gonna make, <laughs> Maybe a small pot top thing. Yeah. Cozy. Okay. You so, woke me up. Now you still want there. something else. Now you need one layer of batting. Good morning, Jamal. One layer of batting and one layer of thin slate per thing. So um, Debbie says, what size rotary cutter? That one's a 60 millimeter. Say hi, Jamal. Hi, Jamal. <laughs> okay. I'm trying not to waste, but it looks like it's inevitable. Okay, so this one here, you need one layer of Thinsulate, and you can use... Uh, this batting, or you can use the polyester. In her video, she used polyester batting, and that's the fluffy batting. I don't think I'm going to use that for this for now. So, ta -da. Now, I'm just going to cut down here, cut our layers. Oops. I'm off my cutting mat. So this rotary blade, because it's 60 millimeter, a 45 would not cut through all four of these layers because it's pretty thick. All right, so I could probably get another one out of that. We'll just sit it over there for now with that. Okay, we've got all our pieces. We have the thin slate, we have the batting. Now we're gonna have to move this out of the way. 
because I will need my iron. And I need some water in it. Okay. Every time I get up, the pillow I have behind my back, I have uh, like this kind of a pillow behind my back that helps me uh, fall off my chair. <laughs> How do you like that? Okay. All right. Let's do some sewing. Let's move this. Move the scissors. Put this over here. So now you want to decide. Not now, but anyway, we need to sew these right sides together and these right sides together. So just take it, flip it around, and we sew right sides, just this edge. And we're going to do a quarter inch seam. I like it, help me. This one, right side. See, this black does have a right side and a wrong side. And some of these, right side, right sides together. Let's try out our little cutter. Oh my gosh, it works great. I think I'm going to give one of these away. What cutter? This little cutter. On my machine. Yeah, barely see it. Oh, boo freaking who? Boo who? who, who. <laughs> Whoops. Why all of a sudden is it not showing it? Can you see it? No. No. Um, oops, wrong side. Okay, I, anyway. I won't go any farther over. No, oh, they'll show you. These little cutters here. They, you peel them and you stick them to anywhere on your machine, your cutting board, and it cuts really nice. Oh, so, that's sweet. Yeah, so I have two of them left. I have a blue one and a white one that came in my sew sampler box. I'll give one away. Okay. Well, the white one would go good with my machine. I put the pink one on mine. <laughs> Just because I like the pink to show up. Oh, and I tomorrow, box, I, I am getting an LED set of lights that will go all around the throat part of my machine. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So I have it lit up instead of dark right now. Right now, it's very dark. Okay, so make sure you press your seam open on both pieces. Did you send in your address yesterday? I did. Sweet. Yeah, she said it was in the mail. Oh, nice. I can't wait to get it. I'm so excited because it will work very well. And apparently it gets so hot that you can't even touch the fabric. But it gets hotter than a normal iron. Oh, poop to do. Okay. Hot, hot, hot. I've been up for about two and a half hours and I'm still not awake. All right. So we're going to fold these now. Have a nice little 
seam there. Um, I am going to top stitch it. I believe she did not top stitch anything, but that's a finished edge. So I, 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 I definitely would top stitch it. I wouldn't leave it like this. And it'll also help it lay flatter. I can't remember if she top stitched, but I'm pretty darn sure she top stitched nothing. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Okay, so we're gonna run this at a number three stitch length. And we're going to just give these a little top stitch, eighth of an inch. I didn't put my slippers on. I'm going to grab them when I go get my teeth. cutter again <laughs> things beautiful nice uh -huh. Isn't that nice nice yes very nice hi cheryl is that harnessed harnessed oh, harnessed welcome glad to have you there hi cheryl we are funny but martha is a hoot <laughs> oh thanks oh thanks Okay, so here's our layering. This is important how you do the layering. So you take your main fabric, the one that you think your pretty one, and your lining fabric goes there. And then you're going to put your little pieces on like so. Now you could have it whatever way you want. And I'm going to have it, should I put it this way? Now, we're going to have it all black. What? Huh? Okay, so layer it like that. I'm putting the colored sides up. You see? Like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so there's my pieces. What does this look so? Epic? Yeah, it looks cockeyed. Yeah, because it was crooked. Okay. Now you're going to take this and put it right side down. Lots of layers. Wait, huh? Right side down. So you're putting pretty side down. Oh, you got to turn it inside out. Yes. Okay. Then you're going to put your thin slate on next. There's no right or wrong side to the thin slate. So you want to put that layer down next. Oops. It up. For some reason that go to your skippy place is in my brain. Really? Yeah, why? Well, I, I don't know. <laughs> then you're going to take your whatever batting you want to use. This is just to, to absorb moisture. And that's why I think it's best to use a, a cotton batting. Don't use a, a polyester batting. That fuzzy stuff. All right, let's pin layers. Nice big pins. And I like these pins because they're super thin and they go right through no problem. Now. Good morning, Clint. Hey, Clint. Now, over here, you want to be careful that your pieces here stay straight. So I would put a couple of clips on those pieces here so they don't move they stay nice and straight because again you're working with 5,000 layers pretty thick stuff and you're gonna sew whoops we are gonna sew from this side just to make sure we catch all that fabric so again 
check over here. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. And put that in there. Here and there. All right, so we're going to sew a quarter inch all the way around. Oof. This doesn't look pretty, very lined up. Oh, I don't think that's really even going to matter, Ruby. Ah, I'm not going to redo it. Okay, so you're going to sew from here, 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 and not this bottom. So let's go sew a quarter of an inch all the way around and back stitch. And I'm going to kind of back stitch over where those pieces join. Now, if she gets all that material in there, that's cool because if I do that, I'm definitely missing something. <laughs> what do you mean? Every now and then, it's like, oh, man. Oh, you'll skip stitches? Well, I skip the material. Like, I don't know. I guess, yeah. I'm going to take one more. I skip material. I turn it inside out, and it's just like, oh, look. You missed this whole part of the material. Yeah. Probably because I didn't cut them out evenly. Kind of, kind of didn't catch that right there, so. See? <laughs> here. See? Yep. <laughs> I'm not the only one. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> Whoops. Start here. What are you doing? pick up for lunch. Okay. Get things done today. Tomorrow maybe I can go grocery shopping. Now you're going to cut very close to your stitch line, but don't cut your stitch line. Just remember there's a lot of layers here. And then we'll trim the excess to an eighth. So keep it nice and cute. Defluffy ties it. Yeah. Well, that's a lot of bulk in there if you just leave all the. A lot of bulk. Yeah. So that's that. Oh, well, I didn't. I'm. A little shy here too. Wow, this batting really went on crooked. Oops, did I cut my stitch line? No, but I got pretty darn close. I know Martha likes the sound of this fabric cutting with the scissors. All right. Okay. So now you are going to take this where just where you put your, your two layers of your batting and one layer of fabric, and you're going to turn it in. 
side right, outside right. No, flip it, flip it good. Yeah, it's not the biggest hole anyway. Oh, poop. Oh. You kind of want to push it out, all your corners out. Actually, I could probably just call Curly and Michelle and have them come over to help me if I ever get up to the store. So this is what we just made. See? Pot holders. Aww. Put a little yeah. eyes and a lip on it. It'd be so cute. Yeah. And I kind of like the black. Like I said, it doesn't get dirty. Yeah. Well, it gets dirty. You just don't see it. So you take one layer of the fabric and the two. Oops. I came undone because I did not backstitch. Oopsies. Yeah, make sure you always backstitch. It's even yeah. kind of good to backstitch your corners. Yes. Just so they don't pop out. Yeah. Now, she didn't top stitch all around hers, but I'm going to. Top stitching. I love top stitching because you it know, finishes I mean, how do you it just off. Leave it like that. Huh? How do you just leave it like that? Mm. I couldn't. No, I couldn't either. No. I'm a top stitch fiend. I gotta find that. Wonder. Top stitching, it makes it look like it's been made in China. Nah. No. Nah. No. American made. American. It's Canadian made. I should make oh, these Canadian made. With a Canadian maple leaf on them. <laughs> Canadian maple leaf? Yep. All right. So let's get out our handy dandy little tool and push these out. You little flamingos. Well, what the hell? That didn't catch there. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, and it didn't catch there, or I just cut it too close. I think my tea's boiling over. Oops. Yeah, go check your tea. When you work with a, a pile of material like that, it is very, very easy to not catch some of the material. It is. And most likely it will happen. Thing. Does anybody watch Homestead Rescue? I love that show. And I watched two hours of the new American Horror Story last night. Looks like it's going to be a pretty good show. You watch uh, Homestead Rescue, Clint? It just, it just started, and they're showing where their house burned up. That was so sad. And here is my tea. Look at how pretty. Pretty color that hibiscus is. So, we're going to drink some tea. Maybe feel better. Well, I don't know. Flip it back inside out. Yeah. I have no choice but to. Yep, yep, um, yep. Yep, it's got to go back this way. And I am going to do a back stitch on them like Martha said to do. 
because the corners are popping out. And what? Yeah. Oh, I know why. Because I sewed it on a number three stitch length on my top stitching. Oh. Yeah, it's not a tight, tight stitch in here. See, I, I did nip that corner. Yep. Goofy. I'm just going to do this one because I don't trust it anyway. And we are going to turn it back out. I even see a little. Oh, never mind. How can I do this? Right? Yes. Yeah. La 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 la. Get your butt out. What should mama get for lunch? Maybe I ought to just stop at Subway, huh? Yep. I still got some money on a Subway card, so. Okay. That now. Let's have a little drink. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Tastes good, eh? Yeah, I'm not a tea drinker, but I've been drinking a lot of this uh, tea, me and Jeff, so. All right, turn my stitch length down. Goof Troop helps with the corners. Smaller stitch? Yes. Like I could see how big my stitching is here. We'll do the same here because I'm sure. Yeah, I usually tap stitch, I think, on a three and yeah, that's that's the go-to, that's the go-to stitch length. Yeah. That one's okay. That one I cut. I knew I cut my thread. I thought I didn't, but I did snip it. Go to your skippy place. Oh, please get that out of my head. Holly. Oops. What? Yeah. More. Yeah. Oh my God, she'll drive me nuts till I give her some. You have food. Go eat it. Okay, doke. There you go. Now eat that and really now. Turning these inside right. Now they're good. I hope. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Do I have just one layer? Yeah, I do. That's how you do it. Oh, look at that. It's, it's now officially all better we'll poke those out in a moment oh my god that tea is so good jeff drinks like a whole pot of it in these um herbal teas that we buy we have a ton of different robotic teas. Glad you're here to tell me that. <laughs> I wasn't going to come in because I knew I'd be sitting here for longer than I needed to be. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you here then? I'm glad you're here. <laughs> because I'm not awake yet. Well, there's no rush to get out, is there? Well, you can come get your things nope, coming I'm getting today. Hungry. Oh, you're getting hungry. Yeah. She's getting hungry. Last night about 10.30, I finally ate a sandwich. After we got off of our talking? Yeah. Okay. I didn't even eat all of it, neither. So, therefore, I have no bread, no lunch meat. What did I do here? 
oopsies. Well, you can actually flip it whatever way you want, but I flipped it the wrong way. We want the black side out. All right, so go between these layers, push these out safely. Because I am going to top stitch this. She doesn't, but I am. I would too. Definitely. Yeah. I just think it gives everything a finished look. Yeah, make it proper. Yeah. I'm going between that and the batting. Sometimes with a pokey tool like she's got, sometimes you can poke that stitch right out. Well, that's why I backstitched over and over with tiny stitching. <laughs> yeah, right. Because that does happen very, very frequently. All right, I need my pinking shears. I usually use a chopstick. That way it really don't pull. Now you're going to take just this piece, you're going to turn it inside out. And we're going to sew this raw edge shut. That's what I was wanting to know how she was going to do. Okay. Quarter of an inch. And she double sewed it. So I'm going to do the same thing. Good idea. Take this part. Flip it. Flip it good. Yep, 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 yep. Something happened here. It's called ran out of thread. Oh shit. I did too. I did too. We do have black in here. Now I don't want to snag that thread in that closure, and I didn't. Okay. Oops. Try this again. Now, so again, right, right beside it, and then we will use pinking shears. She put a zigzag stitch. I'm just using pinking shears, and I'm cutting right beside my stitch line. Now, if you have, by chance, you have a, oh, God, what's it called? A serger would be excellent. Yeah, I don't have a serger because that would have been awesome for that. And then you're just going to take it and turn it back inside the right way. And, of course, we're going to poke that out. Probably should have trimmed those corners. I'm going to. Why not? Too much bulk. Yeah, the pinking shears, it always, it still amazes me why they use pinking shears. My mom used them faithfully. It's to make sure that your thread don't unravel or your material. But yes. I can't see how that works. <laughs> it just does not it does work. my brain. It does work. I know it's really strange because you got all them little points. Well, the threads come off the little points. Nope, they come don't. Off. Strange. Okay, what see. A, one of I'll, God's I'll mysteries. Explain. There we go. Look at these. I'll explain. Actually, I'll do a demonstration to show you. Now, if you take a pair of pinking shears, 
and you cut an end with them, okay? On a normal piece of fabric, it frays. Look at this, see? You can fray it. Well, let's take a, the grain of the fabric and it'll fray. Over time, right. that will just fray. You can't do that because the pinking shears make a V. So you're only going to get little tiny pieces. And it take it'll take forever if that ever tries to fray. You get that? Yeah, okay. Yeah. The pinking shears put that little V, this V here that's cut into it, prevents your fabric from fraying. You can't it just it's impossible to fray it. Ain't that weird? Yeah. I find it actually amazing, but it's And there we go. It's amazing. So it cleans up that edge really nice. So see, that'll never fray now. Very pretty. Pop that out. Pull out these stupid threads. Okay. So the part that's going to be touching the pan is the part that has the thin slate on this side. This part here is the batting side. So for condensation, that's what the cotton batting will do. It will catch any condensation. I got to get my lint brush and clean this black because it's all full of fuzzy from, from it. Debbie says she has her mom's from 50 years ago from Singer, but they're so heavy they're hard to use. Oh, I know. Those ones back in the day were extremely heavy. Yeah, I think uh, my mom's are the same, too, and they're in a box that yeah. they came in still. Yeah, nice heavy-duty ones. Aren't these pretty? They're cute. Now. Are you going to do a white stitching? No, I'm just going to leave it black. And let my iron heat up a little bit. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a girl of contrast. I know. I like, contrast. well, you can still see, like, when you lift those up. You could still see your, um, your fabric. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You can still see your contrasting fabric. These are really cute. My mom's friend, I believe, she made me a a pan handle holder where you just put it over the pan so you don't burn your fingers when it gets yeah. really hot. Yep. I rarely use it. Okay, I'm going to do about an eighth of an inch. Believe me, this is going to be thick, but I'm using a number three stitch length. Make sure you get rid of that wrinkle in there. And the, the points kind of became rounded, so I'm just going to go with the flow. Yes, I really think that, oh my gosh, look at how cute. <laughs> quack, quack, quack. Cheers. Is it soothing your stomach? Yes, actually. Where's the thread going on? Okay, 
Oh, I like these. Way better than caffeine. Than caffeine. Making pot holders or oven mitts, and it's quicker. I made two already. And one good thing about these, throw them in the wash. Yep. are stinking freaking adorable oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy these are super cute they are cute i really like these you won't burn yourself with those that is do for you, darn sure. you have a pair and do you use them a lot i i have silicone ones i have the silicone ones but you got to be really careful with those silicone ones because they they're wet with oil they slide Ooh. i find them kind of dangerous so i don't use them too much if i know i'm not picking up something or touching something that may have oil or grease in it and you know how you accidentally touch yeah that's what's going to happen so i top stitched this lady didn't so and i really think the top stitching makes it look much more professional and and really cute yeah. so i'm gonna go get my Flint brush to clean that. Where's the energize bunny? I need him to energize me. Oh man. Let's I clean it. I just get up and get dressed and Oh yeah, much better. Not having all that yucky fluffies all over it from the batting. The little fuzzies. That is super cute. I really like these. They are cute. Yep, these will go nice with the... Now, here's another thing we're going to make to store these in. Okay. Because you know how sometimes you like to display your stuff. Well, let's make a display thing for these. I was going to say it'd be cool to have a little piece of ribbon. No, that's where this comes to in. It. All right. So we're going to use this. We're going to use that. And we're going to use batting. And a piece of thin slate because this actually will turn into a pocket. And where's my thin slate? Here we go. So, a pocket, a pot holder. Okay, so let's design a pot holder for it. Okay. No, we want you on the back. The only thing is, is this one here, you have to bind it. Okay, that's just no getting away from it. Um. Actually, I'm going to put these on top of this. Ooh, hang it from a triangle and then have like a triangle pocket. Yep. That'd be cute. All right. Now, we're going to put this on top. And how big do we want it to be? So it's going to have a pocket that these are going to sit in. Um... That looks cool. It looks like the black just disappeared. You know, it's floating. <laughs> yeah. So I'm wondering if that's going to be big enough to hold them. Yes. All right. So I'm designing this pocket. This this pot holder. Triangle. 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 No, it's going to be a rectangle. So let's cut this. I put a picket 
on my pit holder to hold the finger holders, Debbie says. She posted a pic. Okay. Well, let me go see the pic. All right. So let's get some measurements here. So we're making it eight inches wide. Uh, where did you post the pick? Do I want it eight inches wide? Oops. Let's have a look at eight inches. Eight inches is plenty because we'll have binding here. These will fit in the pocket perfectly. Okay, so let's do eight inches. Let's line this up because oh, I have a nice straight edge here. And let's cut this off because I can't see with my ruler where my eight inches is. All right, so five, six, seven, eight. Cut here. So you're going to go eight inches wide. Oops. Now, wow, that what? is a different kind of the Martelli rotary color, cutter color. Yes, that is very different. Very different. Yep. Okay, so I want to make sure that stays very straight. Which it's not. I don't want to have oh. any of my pocket off. So I'm just going to cut to get a straight edge on this rawness. All right, let's see how high up we want these. So basically, they're going to go in like that. Let's go down. I don't see any picture. I didn't find no picture. So it is five. 10 inches. So we're going to go 10 inches by 8 inches. Okay. And then we're going to cut some binding. Debbie got tongue tied in that one. <laughs> All right. We are good. Now, this piece here, since it's a pocket, um, I think I might. Hmm. I need it to be stiff. So I stiff might, stuff. I might stick a piece of batting in that. Anyway, that's the wrong way, anyways. Or feasible interfacing. That'll make it if you got stiff stuff. Yeah, I do. I have some stiff stuff. Maybe I'll use some stiff fusible interfacing. Just because the weight, once you put them in your pocket here, the weight from this is is going to cause your pot holder so we're going to put a hanger here it's going to cause your pot holder to you know pull the pocket like this but we are going to sew it in nice and tight so i think i might use uh insulbrate for here because you could put a hot pot on this you know it'd be kind of cute is put your finger things in there and then your top corners, angle them in to kind of match the finger things. And then you'd have like one point at the top. You know oh, no, no, no. No, I want to just leave it rectangle. So let's create a tab. We're going to create the tab out of black. We'll just cut. Ooh. Thanks. Hey. Clint drank his silly juice this morning. A one and a half inch piece. Okay. That's out of this fabric here because when we sew it together, we're going to have to turn that inside right and have just a little tab that will connect. Anyway, that's going to be a bitch to do. But I have tools that can do this. Like... A little dowel. Check on my tiles and see if it's getting close to being delivered. Yes, because I don't want this to be um, a big, huge tab. 
Okay, so there's the tab. Now, with the block, do I have any extra pieces to make the binding? Oop, stop. Yes, well, stop. Stop this. All these videos I got up. This is definitely not going to be big enough. Hi, Tracy. Good morning. But this will be. Tracy Heyman. Good morning, Tracy Heyman. So we're going to make a two and a half inch binding the same way you would make a binding. We will join them. So we're uh, got some pretty. This will look pretty on the pocket. Hopefully, I can get another piece because that would go good on the top and the bottom. Cheryl says, very nice. I like that the pot holder. I like that pot holder. Easy to grip. Yes, it is very easy to grip. All right. So are these long enough for this? Just are these long enough here? So there's our extra will be on these sides. And you know what? I could cut one more from I can cut two more probably from this piece. <sighs> Let's cut this selvage off. Take a half an inch off of here. We'll just put them all together. And then I won't have to worry about being short on binding. Or I won't have to cut up another square. I'm using my scraps, really. All right, that's so good. Okay. Now. We will sew all these together and I'll have plenty of room to do them properly. All I have to do is outline and stitch this. But first of all, we have to sew this. I'm going to figure out what we're going to do with this. So, um, first of all, you want this down first and this up, right? Always. Oh, wait, you need your lining first. The back? Well, the back. And that will line up with this. We will square this whole thing up. Um, I think I am going to put a little bit of quilting lines in this. Um, before I sew the pocket on, I'm going to quilt this. I'm just going to do some quilt lines. And, yeah, I think, what do you guys think? Some quilt lines? Wait a minute. Is that I, material backwards? Nope. No, this is the... Oh, the you're right. just going to bind it. Yeah, I'm binding it like a quilt. Okay. Sandwiching all the pieces. So I'm thinking some quilting lines on there will be nice and some quilting lines on this, but not on these. So those are going to rest in there. Oh, did I throw my little tab away? Probably. <laughs> I don't care because it's right there anyways. Um, okay. Um, I'm really actually scared to put interfacing on this. So what I'm going to do is get a scrap piece of my Thinsel Bright. Cheryl yeah. says she's not experienced not that experienced in sewing or quilting, but she's learning. Oh, well, that's good, hon. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to quilt this. First, I'm going to stitch it all the way around. This wants to be a pecker head. I need it to go tight up against there. So that's, to me, I just feel like I, this is a safe measure to do. And that'll be why, because this is not straight. Pick her head. Can't. 
All right, we'll straighten you up because it's just not going to go in there nicely the way I want it to. So this looks like a nice straight edge here. So we will just straighten this sucker up. All right, now it should go nice and flush in here. Like that. Okay. So I'm not worried too much about that end. Let's put a pin in here as well. Oh, look at Home Depot commercial. Jeez, that's drawing me right to it. Okay. So first things first, before we do anything, let's sew all around the outside on a number three at an eighth of an inch, which it's already at just to sandwich all our pieces together. Normally I don't do this when I'm quilting, but I'm not using a walking foot and there's too many layers here. So we'll sandwich it at an eighth of an inch. Make sure you pull it nice and snuggy. that piece now we'll do this one just on this side here don't do that top unless you're going to top stitch it uh but we'll top stitch it after we get the quilting done on it I'm just going to trim this off. We're going to quilt some lines on these, and that's going to be that. So I think I'm going to do um, just some square lines. This doesn't look very square anymore, <laughs> but I mean, that's how it's going to go. Actually, I think it's going to look really cute if I put a binding over this. That's going to separate these two. So when we're done, we're going to use this for a fake winding. Let's see if this is big enough. Nope. Ooh. I'm going off the scraps. I'm a scrappy person. Uh, we'll just use one of these. So I'm going to make a binding for this. I'll just use that. I didn't really need all those for that. Now let's get a white and we'll use the pink on that one because you're not going to see the white. <coughs> okay, so to start drawing your lines. You always want to go from corner to corner if you're going to go diagonally like this. Okay. That will give you a nice grid. And I'm going to do them one and a half inches, which I think is plentiful. I'm not doing the one inch ones because I just find them way too tight that way. So after I get this you're done. You're doing how big? Half one inch? inch? One and a half. One and a half. Yeah, so one and a half inch grids, like so. Then you're going to start from this corner to this corner so you have the exact matching. And then you're going to go one and a half. And it'll take no time to sew those lines, believe me. And that's your grid. 
I just think this is easiest. And for people that can't quilt like I do for free motion, this is your alternative. And it's the most simplest thing to do. So I kind of like this raw, this this edge here. I'll probably bind this out. See my method. All right. So we have to use a darker color. I don't know. She has a method for madness. Ha <laughs> ha. Yuck, yuck, yuck. No, the pink is a little too, little too light. Let's try the blue one. I gotta get up. I gotta get up. And you're going to do the same thing, corner to corner. And I'm going corner to corner with my fabric. Ooh, hard to see the lines, but they're there. Yeah, they're there. You can see them. And the main thing is I need to see them sewing them. Yeah, those are really hard to see. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I could see them. They're just very light. It's very light. Oh, I'm gonna try this pink. I don't know. Yeah, I probably should have used the pink because I could see that better than the blue. Damn. Pink and blue. These are water soluble. They're made by clover. Hopefully they come off better than that blue marker did. Oh, yeah, I see it. Wow. Very, barely. That 
こんにちは。Keep flipping your fabric to get even distribution of your closing lines, or your fabric will all distort to one way if you keep going in one direction. And that's that. They're quilting. That was fast and easy and painless. Very painless. So I am thinking I'm going to round. I'm going to trim these because I am putting a binding on this and I don't want all these threads on here. I'll be squaring these up anyways. You can see how crooked that one is. You want it to be nice and square. All right, let's do that. I need to just match it up with the diamonds. My quilting lines. There we go. Nice straight edges. Now I think I'm going to round the corners and I'm going to round them in a manner that it's enough to my binding can just go around a lot easier than I don't know we'll see so I could take a healthy chunk off of each side of this One up to the top there. Okay. And the bottom. This is the part I said I was going to bind. Let's clean up this edge. Have a look. Should I leave it square or should I round the corners? What do you guys think? It's a toss up for me. I think I should round. I don't know. What do you guys think? Why is thinking that? I'm going to get this ironed, this sewn, and turned inside right. Let's get this sewn so I can work on this strap. Over an inch. i got to get my slippers on. use a dollar rod skinny one it doesn't really matter about this I just want to get it going 
So we'll use this little guy. Just to get a thing. Now I'll go get a dowel rod, a skinny one. This will work. A skewer. There we go. Nothing is ever impossible. So I'm going to use a hmm, pretty pointy edge to make this pointy. It don't really matter because it's going to get sewed in. just want to make a little hook. What happened to Ruby? Why? What happened? Hello? Martha, can anybody hear me? Hello? Hello? Can anybody hear me? Yes, I see you, just... but it was my internet that went out. Oh, I was like, what happened now? Yeah, I thought I thought you lost internet or something, but no, it was me. I looked down and my internet was gone. So, like, obviously, the, the cable they didn't guy didn't fix it very good. Problem. No, they did not. And he didn't give me a new modem, neither. What a jerk. Yep. So, I'll be talking back with them people shortly. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, anyway, I'm ready. I got to go hit the Home Depot. When I get back, I'll reconnect with you. Okay, girl. Enjoy. Okay, bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you back. Bye. I want to see what you bought. Okay. So, yeah, we can hear you. Ruby, if you have a Princess Auto. What's that Princess Auto, Debbie? Um, I must have missed it. I'm so sorry. I'm just making a little hanger. I didn't even cut that straight. You couldn't pay me to cut straight. <laughs> All right, so this is going to hook in the back there. It's actually going to go this way. And then I will fold it up after the binding's down, and then I'll tack it with where the binding is. So that's how that has to go. Now this here... We're going to attach it. Quarter inch sleeve allowance. Yep, this sewing machine. And then we're just going to flip it over like so. We do have to put some clips in here because it's just coming loose on me. Which 
try sometimes have the self healing mats. Oh, oh, Princess Auto. Yeah, they're an online store here. I am stitching in the ditch. Look at how easy that was. And look at, I know it blends in with that, with the pot holder, but at least you can see your, your little oven mitts. Maybe I'm going to make these for gifts, for selling. What do you guys think of just these? I don't need those bowls. I might make a few. I'm not going to make a whole bunch, but I think I'd like to make these. These are fun to make. And they're very pretty. Okay, so let's tack this down. Let's find the middle first. And put a pin in there. Just so I know where the middle is. Not very straight, but I, I get the gist of it. So we're going to put this down. Oops. When it stands up, it's going to hook like that. Okay. So let's just tack this down. That's all we're going to do. Tack this down. And then pull this pin out. Yep, we're just going to tack her. Okay, come on. And this thread is so hot, thick. It doesn't feel like a 50 weight. And yet the, the packaging said 50 weight. Or this needle is just very small. That wasn't even in the needle. I don't know what it looked like it was. Something like that. There we go. Get in there. It just splits. This is why you use starters and enders, because this is what keeps happening to me, and it's frustrating. All right, so I'm going to pull that out <laughs> so it doesn't come out again. So when I put the binding on, after the binding's done, I'll just pull this up. And I'll just run a, a little tack on it. And that way you can hang it up with these in. What do you guys think of this? What do you think of my ideas? So now let's get ready to make the binding because all the rest of this is done. I'm just going to make this binding. To go all the way around. Make sure I have enough binding to go all the way around. And I think I am going to round my corners just so I don't have to make mitered corners. 
have pot holders. Like, who wants to make mitered corners on a pot holder? Not me. You guys think I should round them? Yes. Thank you. All right. Kind of need to press this open. Press these. So I just use scraps to make this binding. Easy peasy. Good way to use up scraps. Hey. I know there's one more. All right, let's pray to God that this is going to fit all the way around with some extra. Ta-da! It will work. Put you there. I think I'm going to take a little break in a minute and go get myself another tea. And I like to always press these seams open on a binding just to reduce the bulk. Rejoin them. Yeah, doing your seams like this, like I've seen, I've seen a lot of quilters that just took their two pieces and just sewed them together. So I, I don't like to do that. This is the best way is to sew it on the bias. That way you have no bulk, especially if your machine can't handle the bulk. My machine could, but when this is folded over, you see, the seams are not matched up to, to create the bulk. If they were matched up, then you've got that bulk. So now it's evenly distributed. Okay, so we need to round these. Figure out how I'm going to do this. So we will go from there. There. Make this a little bit more straighter. All right. Put that over. Nice. Oops. Ah, I'll just do one this for now. Oh, yeah, I like that better. All right. So we'll just match that up there. Round this off. I have to do it this way. Because I'm right handed.
All right. That was great. Easy peasy. So I'm going to leave some extra. I'm going to start about here, just before the pocket here. It's probably a good idea I tack this down first. This pocket. Probably a good idea. Too many layers. So we'll do an eighth of an inch. See if these fit in here. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Wow, I really like that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Leave some binding. I'm going to start just before that pocket there, and I'm going to kind of back stitch doing quarter inch theme. So we'll see how good it goes around the circle. not going to be the easiest. But just a little bit at a time because this is not bias binding. security for the pocket. A little bit at a time. No, we don't want to scrunch up like that. get around this corner and I'm back on the straight edge we'll cut it off <clears throat> I may have to trim around these corners I definitely will because I went a little too far over and our binding it's going to be kind of messy there. Let's see how that looks. There we go. That is going to be perfect. Yep. Okay. Let's join our binding. Very small area. <laughs> Very small area. Hi, Rajul. Okay. There. Put the pin right about there. Don't have a whole lot of sewing room here. Very tiny area. Oh, 
going to be extremely hard. But if I get it going here, not in the right place. No, I need it right there. I can't let go of that. very very tight here i didn't leave a whole lot of sewing room very very tight shoot i don't know how good that's gonna work how straight i'm gonna get this because of that i don't need to sew straight We'll see. Did good enough. Did good. Okay. Now we will try to open these seams with our fingers. Finger press it. All the way down. There we go. Now we will finish sewing that. Ta -da! Now turn all this around. That is really, really pretty. And then we will sew this up like so when we do our binding. Sew it over and up. I think I'm going to stick a pin in there. No, that's not going to work like that. It's too thick for my pins. Okay, get rid of this. I will sew this first. Oopsies, don't pull on it. Oh gosh, this is not easy. This part. There we go. Hold it. Pray it stays and snag it. Give me a hard time like that with this out not being pinned down see that worked out perfectly it makes it a little bit trickier coming around that corner Cool. 
cute. Sure needs a lint ball roller on it. Well, I want to check to make sure I caught all the back. Sure did. Look at that. Nice. Now with that lint roller. It could sure use a lint cleaning. Wow. What a linty mess. Oh, that's a thread I need to snip. Any more threads. Okay, so I'm going to give this a little spray with the iron to get rid of those lines. It says water soluble, so she'll see. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's getting rid of it for me. I am wanting to sew so bad. I think I may just need to try. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, Leanne. Don't even hesitate. Oh, did I call that ripped? What a disaster. I didn't even realize it ripped like that. There. These are freaking adorable. Could even probably put them in there like that. Oh my gosh. And hang that up. How cute is this? I really love this. This is super adorable. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. We're going to make more. My garbage bowl is a bit full and it's overflowing. All right. I am going to make two. I think I like it like that. Two bowl cozies to go with this as a set. What do you guys think? Thank you, Leanne. Hi, Annie. How are you? Thanks, Annie. So these are your little putty holders. <laughs> I could just sit here and play with these all day. So much fun. You could pick up small things. Oh, these are fun. I really love this. Yeah, I kind of like them like that. And I think the binding makes sets it all out really nice and having it rectangle so what's really nice is you could take whatever you take out of the oven and set it right onto this pot holder if you have a count because in here 
we put the thinsel braid in here. So nothing's damaged. Your pot can sit nicely right on top with your little putty holders. Put it right on your pot holder. What a fantastic, what a fantastic idea. And this would look so nice hanging in your kitchen on the wall. Just grab them right beside the stove. I adore this. I really do. We're going to make some more of these. And I love how the diamond is centered in the quilting. See that? But my lines didn't go away from the water. And those say water soluble. Aquas. Can I speak English here? Water soluble pencil. Oh, you got to get a wet cloth and wipe your markings off. Okay, we'll do that. What a beautiful little set. Oh my gosh, that is adorbs. So adorable. I am going to go take a little break and put my doggies outside. Yeah. That with the bowl cozy and smaller bowl cozies. You'll see this definitely. I'll just keep this oven mitt for myself. Get rid of some of the lint on it. Full of lint. The same with this bowl cozy. Oh, yeah. Just covered in lint. It's from the, um, and it's black, so it's going to show more. You know, of course it will. That I'm just going to keep for myself. I'm going to put that in my cupboard. I'll actually, there. With a big bowl cozy and a couple small. What you guys can do while I'm gone is figure out if you had one of these, one big one, and four small ones, a pot holder set, how much you think that should sell for at a craft fair. Now, you all seen how long it takes, how much fabric, blah, blah, blah. We'll see. Anyways, I really have to put my doggies out. And I'm going to grab some more of my tea because it's still steeping.
I can't get my dog to come back in, so she's staying outside. Now, one thing I did not like, I'm going to keep this one for myself, is since I did all of the um, 25, um, hmm, I would say probably maybe 30. I would go $30. I'm, I'm in Canadian dollars. And my fabric is all from the USA. So, of course, I pay a fortune for my fabric. Um, yeah, I would say $30 for, a, I'm only going to give this a big one and two, two bowls with the set. So, I'm going to remake this bowl. Now, I want to do it different because I don't like this. You see? I don't like this part. So, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. We are going to use the ones I cut yesterday to make. Uh, all right, we do need two pieces of batting. Where are the two pieces of fabric? We're right here. Oh, I don't have enough to make small bowls. I used all of those pieces. Oh, shit. Anyway, I am going to sandwich this. Wrong sides together. Sorry, right sides. Wrong side, not right side. Wrong sides there. Make sure it's covered and get a large bowl cover. And we're going to do this. But oh boy, how am I going to see this? I am going to have to cut this down to 14 and a half by 14 and a half so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to roughly do it without cutting my fabric because I need to see to line them up. Don't ever do this with a rotary cutter. There's no ruler beside it, but I've used a rotary cutter so much in my life. And I've only nicked myself once. And that was using a ruler. I still managed to nick myself. All right. So we're going to do that. Now we'll flip it over. And we will line this up. With this. And we're going to quilt all these together. No, we can't do that because then I won't be able to turn it inside out. Oh, yes, I can. What we'll do first is stitch them all the way around. Sew this. And then we'll, oh, no, we can't. Damn it. I can't. There's no way. I have to quilt these separately but I'm not going to do that right now because I'm going to use one of these ones I've already quilted and we'll take the one that's got the fancy lines on it. Yep. We'll keep these ones for myself, but I don't have enough fabric to make a whole set for this now. But on all the next ones that I make, I will make sure I have enough fabric now. Because I'm only making one, one big bowl cozy. So we will retrim this. Probably should be using a ruler. Would be a smart thing to do. Right? Okay. All right. That one's done. Ready to be sewed.
That way I'm not using a whole bunch of batting. Hi, Tracy. Did you see what I made, Trace? I'm going to make it again today. Don't worry. You'll get to see it firsthand. This time and now I know what I'm doing. And I'll have measurements for everyone who wants to make them for themselves. All right. That is really strong. Okay, so we're going to put right sides together. Scrap you. And I'm just going to pin it. And we'll do the same thing here, right sides together. Can you guys see me okay? Yep. Yeah. What are you drinking? This here is steep tea. I had a bit of a, I felt kind of nauseous, but I feel better now. This is David's Teas, and it's called Hibiscus Healer. And the reason I think it's a good healer is it's got real ginger in it. And ginger is so good for upset stomachs. So that kind of took away my, I don't know, I felt nauseous for a bit this morning. And then I just steeped it in my Turkish teapot. They are so good. Those, And these are Turkish teacups. If anybody is interested to know, they're so cute. <clears throat> that shit burns your throat. Whew. That chili pepper in there is freaking hot. <laughs> okay, so yesterday we went two inches down. So I am going to do an inch and a half in and three inches down. Inch and a half in, three inches down, and then I'm going to sew it. So let's make our markings. Just use a pencil for that. Okay. Three inches down, inch and a half from the fold. Put a pencil there and a pencil there. And then we will draw our line from there to there. And I'm just using a pencil because... It's the inside. Nobody's going to see it. Whew. It's got chili in this, chili pepper in here as well. It's kind of hot. Okay. Let's move my beautiful, beautiful. Do you want to see all our teas that we have? Mm. Yeah, you sure can feel that chili pepper in there. Ooh. Strong stuff. Okay, so we're going to back stitch here. Back stitch at the start and the finish. Now, I still need those. We will open up our bowl cozy. We're going to match it up here. And I'm sure it's matched up nicely. And here. And let's do the same thing. Put this. We're going to do this too because I don't want it stretching. All right. So three inches down, inch and a half from the corner. I want this to be a, a deeper dish holder. Okay. So three inches down, inch and a half in. There, 
in there. So I'm going to sew from there. There. And then you just draw a line from your point to point. Now, let's see how much bigger and higher up it's going to be. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now we have a freaking bowl cozy. <laughs> Bye, Cheryl. Okay, there we go. Look at this. That is what I, my goal was to get it a little bit higher up on the sides of a bowl because most serving dishes are pretty are deep like this bowl here. So this is basically what I was going for. And that's exactly perfect. So they'll get one big one and two small ones, but not with this set. This is going to be for my daughter. I'm going to give this to my daughter because her birthday just passed and her kitchen is all black and white. <laughs> So why not give it to my daughter? She's only getting one bowl because I don't, I'll give her, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, actually, actually I can make two, I can cut these down. Yes. Why wasn't I thinking straight? Because I'm not going to make any more big ones for this set. It's already got one big one and two small ones, which will be. One for your pot of soup, your nice bowl of soup, and one, two for a his and hers cup of cup of soup or bowl of soup. Oops, oh, one and a half and three down. I will just cut those other big ones down. I have to quilt one though. That's okay. I'm not worried. I wonder if Tiana wants in yet. <laughs> She's outside. Okay. And now We'll fold this this way. I just don't want it shifting on me. So I really don't need that one there. Because I need my ruler in there. But it kind of pulls in the middle. There you go. So one and a half down, three, one and a half down from the fold and from the side, three inches. That's going to give you a nice deep dish holder. So a regular, to me, that's a regular size. I just don't have any uh, in that particular size. There and there. Draw a line. Up to draw that line. Okay. Now when I made this bowl cozy before, they did not fit my bowls. And I'm going to tell you why. My bowls are a little bit bigger, I guess, but they're corrals. And they are the um, square bowls. So my bowls did not fit in the bowl cozy at a size 10 inch square. So I'm going to cut a 12 and a half inch square. And I'm going to make you know, a fair size, not too big, but a lot bigger than um, 
the one I made before. Because previously, okay, we have to press these open because I just think it's very bulky this way. So we're going to press those open. And we're going to round the corners. I don't know if I should. Should I round the corners? Yeah, it would match the pot holder. <laughs> I love these. I'm glad you do, Cheryl. That's why you need to make them. Everybody needs to make a set of these. They're super cute. So that, should I leave them or just, I'm just going to take a little wee bit off. I'm not going to make it too, too rounded. So let's do this. Let's do this one. So I can just cut all of them at the same time. So I'm just going to cut a small area, not a big one, just to round them a little bit because I really think the big, the big rounded parts don't look very good. There we go. Line everything back up. And cut. Like so. Did I do all these corners? Yeah, we just have to press them. All right, let's fold it this way and let's, oh, I missed one. Okay, so let's round this. Okay, they're good. So let's get the iron turned on. And give these a press open. That's going to be really less bulk for us if we do this. So I'm going to just kind of snip this up so that this seam lays flat. Oops, it only cut through there. So you can see it's not gonna it's not gonna lay flat unless you cut it. There we go. Someone's working at somebody. Probably the male one. She's good at that. I should go get her back in the house. Yep, I should go get her back in. Okay, and don't iron your batting. It's cotton. Don't hit the, the batting part with your iron. Just try to do it this way. Because I find the batting sticks to my iron. I didn't see what you made. Okay, I'll show you, Trace. Hang on. I gotta go let that brat in. She walks at everything and everyone. So, yes, much nicer. It's nice, flat, best we can. And 
I will show you one sec, Tracy. Oh, that is freaking hot. Burnt money. So what I made is a pot holder, Trace, with two little finger for picking things up out of the oven. And they just sit inside. See, they pick up, nice grip on them. Um, whoops, my ring was sniping on that. You could pick up small stuff. You could pick up really, they're super, super cute. And uh, they just tuck inside of this pocket of the pot holder that I made. I created the pot holder like that. And then it just hangs up. It's not going to be cute with the set of bowl cozy, the big bowl, serving dish bowl, and the um, um, soup bowls, bowl cozies. Okay, so we want right sides together. Oh my God, she loves them. Good. <laughs> Aren't these cute? I'm going to make another whole set before I go today. We're going to do, I'm going to cut it out, show you guys from start to finish how to cut out a whole set, get everything all ready, and then we'll sew another set. And, and these go together super quick and easy. Yeah, I really love these. I really, really do. I think these are the bomb. I just do. And I love this pot holder. I love it. So, and this has the, the thin slate in it. Okay, I'm going to get Tiana. I got to get her in the house. She's being a little bitch. With you barking at your daddy, that's who she was barking at. Okay. All right, let's sew this bowl cozy and see how it turns out. Now, we have to match up our seams here. So we'll put a clip in there. I don't know which way I'll be sewing this. This way, yeah. So I'm gonna turn my clips that way. So let's do all four seams first. Try to match them up. I can use those, I will make some. Good. That's why I'm doing this. I'm altering people's patterns. To the way I like them, and that's what you should do is just make something to the way you like it. You're not you might ne not necessarily like the design, but you can always change it up, get inspiration, do what you want. Do it to the way you like it. And that's what I'm doing. I love that set. 
I really do. Okay, so we've got to leave an opening. And we're not going to leave an opening on the curve. Hi, baby girl. We're not going to leave an opening on the curve. She hasn't been up here. She hasn't even been in my room. No, she wouldn't come in here. She's been so good. She can come in here. Just till I start rotary cutting. Hi, baby girl. Okay, so I am going to start just past. I'm going to start just past here. No, I'm going to. Yes, I'm going to start just past here. Up to about. I'm only going to leave about that much because I don't want my curve as a part of my finished sewing piece. So just go about an inch past. That's good. Go quarter of an inch. Back tack. Oh, what am I doing? I'm not starting there. I'll be starting right about there, right on the curve. And back tack. Oh, shoot. I hit the thing with my foot. I'm going to do this again. Well, well, very carefully. I'm doing it at a one and a half inch stitch length. Because it, it's easier to get around those corners if you use a shorter stitch length. Between the seams there and now I'm just gonna go a little bit past and break off my thread. Now we're going to do a little bit of snipping here because I got a feeling with these corn these here are not gonna sit nice for me. So you gotta snip those out. Do some notching. That one doesn't want to snip. And same with the round here. I'm going to do some notching. I don't want it that way either. And I'm going to put another one in there because I want these to lay nice and flat. All right. See how this comes like a V here? You definitely want a notch. So it sits nice and flat. Trim this a bit. 
And then I'll put some notches in it. There. There. I'm going to trim that down just a little bit. Did I cut my stitching? <laughs> This is the last one. These notches make the world of difference. There we go. Good enough. And I don't like that sticking out like that. Okay, we're done. Now where do I leave the opening? We're right here. So let's turn this out. It's a little struggle. The struggle is real. Yeah, I do too, Tracy. I forget sometimes I'm like sewing with a number three millimeter. I'm like, why is this? <laughs> when you open the seams, it's like you can see all the stitches because it's such a big stitch. And here I am sewing over it again. Get rid of that hunk right there. There we go. There. Ta-da! What a mess. Black is yucky. It's not my favorite color to work with. It shows too much of the um, the lint. Can't stand it. See, much flatter in there when we top stitch that. See, I started here right on the seam. See. So there's no, uh, and I didn't, and I went past that. So it's just to get that pressed. There we go. Now we're talking business. Now that is a bowl cozy. That sure is. And it fits my big bowl. So, yep. Nice big pot of soup. Keeps it hot, too. Okay. I'm going to just roll these seams out. No, I'm going to do it with this. It's just way easier. Way, way easier. As me trying to do that.
Harry Linty. I'm trying to do this. So, pull that down, and fold that over, quarter inch. all the way around. I think it needs it. Pull these seams out. Nice and yeah by putting those slits in because that's like almost you know almost like a V shape in here when you cut when you do this. I also use them for storing glass bowls. Oh, good idea. Good idea. That's not quite on enough. Actually, this is the side I want out. That's what the part I want showing. Now it really basically stands up opposed to that one. This one stands up way better. Reverse. Roll it out good. So I can top stitch it. And then we'll call this one done. see some little threads and I need to snip these snip Where the opening is. Let's see. Yep. Okay. I'm actually going to start top stitching right there. So turn it to a three. And we'll do a little eighth of an inch all the way around. I don't know, top stitching to me finishes off your your your, your project. It, it makes it very complete. I don't know. Okay. 
it is done. It is done. Oh my goodness, that is so much better than the other one. I didn't like the other one. Oh my gosh, I love this. Wow, so cute. Okay, I'm gonna cut out another set and I'm gonna sew these so you guys can see how I made this. I forget how big I made this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by, I think it was 10. Yes, I cut an 8 by 10 sheet paper. All right. Ta-da. Look at this. How adorable. Okay, I'm going to go get my, let my husband in here since I have nobody here. I'll get Jeff in here. All right, now, which fabric do I want to make? So I've got this one, but this is directional. So I don't really want to do a directional one. Ooh, the pinks are nice. The green is directional. Um, this one's not, this one's not. Oh, I kind of like this. Let's do this one. We'll cut the set out for that one. And that red and gray. Oh, yeah. This gray one is directional. So you got to pay mind to directional fabric. And then we've got this red. I'm going to use that, too. So, All right. This is super cute. Is there a pattern for these? Um, no, but I'm going to put measurements below in the description box. I'm going to write everything down so you guys can make this. This is a, a square cut by 14 and a half by 14 and a half. And that's how we got this. So, you know, and then I'll, I'll, put, I'll put this. The only thing there is a pattern for... And I think I'm going to be screwed. I need one. Oh, shoot. I don't have any more of this batting. Dang. To make a big one. I have lots for the small. Um, damn it. I've already used this up. That's for the smalls. Okay, I have a problem. I have no more of this bed. Shit. To make the big one. Now. Okay, I guess I can't make it until I go get more batting. So what I'm going to do is finish this set off, make the two small ones. Make the two small balls. And when I come back tomorrow, I'm going to run to a fabric store and see if I can get a package of this, this batting here. Because I need a 14 by 14 and a half by a 14 and a half inch piece. So, yeah, we're gonna cut these down to the bowl sizes. So I'm gonna move this out of the way for now. And we're gonna quilt this. Okay. Might as well, I've got the black thread in my machine. 
that's not going to work. Well, it will. If I cut it down to size. So let's cut these down to size. I'm going to cut these to 12 and a half instead of 14. So we have eight and a half, nine, eight and a half. Let's just do eight. 9, 10, 11, 12 and a half. So for 32. So we're going to cut these 12 and a half by 12 and a half. That way I don't have to quilt so much. So we have eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, and a half. 33 mark. Yeah, I can't make another set till I go get another package of batting. Okay, so this is the bowl size 12 and a half by 12 and a half. And then I don't have so much to quilt. I'm just doing quilting lines, <laughs> I'm doing it the lazy man's way. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and a half. Thirty-two mark. We have to quilt these two pieces. Now I'm going to cut these two pieces down. So I'm going to try to match it up so I can cut both at the same time. Looks pretty good. So first off, I'm going to take a good inch off of this side so I can get these squared take a good inch off of this side and now we will cut this to 12 and a half so eight 9, 10, 11, 12, and a half. 31 mark. And one more cut. So you have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There we go. So that is all done. Squared up. So this one is ready to be made into its bowl cozies. And this one we've got a quilt. So I'm not being fussy with this. So I'm just going to pretend I'm doing it straight down the middle. Drawing an X. Need to hold those. Oh, for shit sakes. Oh, we're going to put that stitching down a bit. <clears throat> that 
That way, not being too fussy. That way. my quilting lines okay you see what i did not too shabby for eyeballing it eh <laughs> yeah not too shabby at all now we're going to repeat that for this one nobody's going to see these quilting lines that's all i'm not caring about I mean, the black thread is totally camouflaged in here. So even if I screwed up, you would never see it. There's the second one done. Oh, wait, I'm missing a line. Oh, did I run a thread? That could be what happened. Yes, I did. Dang it. I ran out of thread. Now I gotta perform that all over again. How many lines did I miss? Just one, I think. One. I see one, two, three. It's the fourth line. Yeah. That's not snake. And we'll do this again. So did all of them go from end to end, end to end, end to end? Hmm. They did. Now we've got the matching. Right, right. Now this one here, I have a whole bunch of threads in the center that I did. I need to remove. Okay. He finally showed up. Okay. Now, for this, here, I'm going to line these up. All right, this one here, we're going to do. 
the pencil. We're going to do one inch by, I would say, two and a quarter. One inch by two and a quarter. We'll see. These are smaller bowls. Okay, I think that's going to cut it. So one inch from here to one inch from the fold down, two and a quarter inches in the length. Like so. And then we will do this. Do this one that way I can do both of them at this I'm gonna do all four of them this is just so it doesn't shift while you're um, making them so an inch in quarter This is just to get it, keep it straight. Like so. All right, get you guys sewed in a minute. Got it kind of flattened out because this stuff doesn't fold very good. All right. done welcome back martha hey, hey hey i'm back and eating how are you hon how did you get free food martha did you go in there begging <laughs> how'd you do it i needs to know All right, let's do some sewing. Oh, damn it. Probably should backstitch. I'll just do that one over since my thread broke. Okay. Now. 
now. These are going to be perfect for a bowl. Okay. I think each. I mean, you, you you really need to to quilt this, I think, because if you wash these over and over again, your batting's going to get so bunched up in a ball that these won't even sit flat. So, yeah, after time, your batting will be a mess if you don't do some kind of quilting in it. Oops, what am I doing? I was drawing the line in the wrong direction. That is bunching up right here. There we go. Stop being a bitch. Poor Amy, workaholic. That that wind up pretty nice.
Okay, doke. Now let's round the corners. Tut tut the moment. Actually, I'm going to do all four at once. Yep, I am. I did do a very good job. There we go. This top one sucks. Okay. <laughs> Look at that one cut. How pretty is that? All right. So let's do these two to match this. Oops. Just a minute. Kind of want the corners to all match because we have to match these up, but who, who knows? They never match up perfectly, even if you did them perfect. Nothing matches up perfectly. And I'm going to turn the iron on because we have to press our seams open. So this little oval or this little rounded corner you do, you're going to have to do it on your own. Because I can't give you a measurement. So I don't even know. All right. So remember, slid up so this lays flat. So when we open this, it will sit flat. All right. Actually, maybe I'll just give them a pretend iron. Just roll them. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I don't feel like ironing them. Does a good job. <laughs> right, guys? Hey, Martha's there. How come it didn't beep? Where's my mouse? I didn't get a beep when you came in, Martha. It probably did, but you were so on. Oh, that's a possibility. What did you what did you have for lunch that you got for free? Well, I went to order um, a coney at Mega. I went to order a coney and some cheese sticks. Well, they cooked up cheese fries, so I got free cheese fries. I only ordered one coney, and they gave me two. Oh, what? Well, then you got so, supper now. Yeah, and I'm already full. And mm -hmm. I cannot find... I went to Home Depot, and I went to um, the hardware store. cannot find the blades for my saw. Oh, uh, bummer. Okay. So now, I was just kind of browsing on Amazon. They do have some. This to me is too big for a bowl. For an ordinary soup bowl, yeah, too big. So. And Debbie wanted to know if you want her to send the jars back to you. No. No, she can keep them. <laughs> Not TV, okay, so we are going to sew 
a little bit more and down further. So what did we do? We did two and a quarter. We are going to do another quarter. So a quarter here on all of them. And we're just going to sew another quarter of an inch on all of them. So that is at my quarter inch mark. That's out there. Wait. <clears throat> Son of a bitch. This is not quite a quarter inch and it's throwing me off. I wonder if Walmart. There. There we go. <laughs> Hmm. We'll see if this makes any difference. Okay, that's looking more like it'll fit a bowl. Right? Right. So, I have to sew a quarter of an inch more all the way around. I'm going to go get a, a soup bowl, one of my bowls. See how it fits in there. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to get a bowl and take a little break and walk. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, that too long. Here we go to Walmart. Okay, the problem, my blade has two holes. And they got one at Walmart for 14 pieces for ten ninety nine, but they only have one hole. Brr. I don't see how I really need... Second hole. I might as well just bring my whole kitchen in my grass. <laughs> just bring my kitchen in here. Okay, so there we go. That's a little bit too well. Definitely, you have to roll it down. Pieces for eleven oh nine, and then there's the round soup bowl. And now imagine carrying that without. Look at how perfect that fits. Like I well, said, well, well, well. Okay. might as well bring my whole kitchen in here. All right, so I'm going to cut that line off. That's good morning, it. Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn. Well, it's good afternoon. Yeah, it's definitely. Long awesome. time no see you, ladies. Just didn't had no internet, but it's good to see you again. What are you making, Ruby? I am making pot, or no, what are these called? Um, bowl cozies. But I need to make them. Hey, so, how are you, sweetie? I need to re -sew them because they're too short.
Are they too big? He made, uh, what were they called? Finger? Hot, finger hot pads? Yes. Fingerlings? Finger hot pads. No, oven finger hot pads, I guess you can call them that. All right, so that's the size of that one. Dun, dun, dun. Perfect. They fit better. My those other sizes did not fit my bowls. <laughs> and I'm just gonna nest my seams. I'm not pressing them open. I can't be bothered. You don't need to do that if you don't want to. If you nest them, either way, they're going to lie just as flat as pressing them open. And now there's one more. I'm not going to do that. One more. Get out of there. I'm trying to get into my garbage. Rip up interfacing or batting everywhere. She's so good at it. Amy says, love these, Ruby. Thanks, Amy. Now we can sew them together. All done, baby girl. All done. Meow. Yeah. Meow. Yeah. Done. Where's the other one? I snipped it already. One, two. I did. Or did I even sew it? Yeah, because they all have skinny seams. Okay, so let's take these two, turn these out. These are the matching ones. Put them inside. <clears throat> and we will nest these seams. Same amount of bulk as long as they're nested. Like that. So the outside, I'll be sewing them a half an inch so I can reduce some of the size of it. I'll sew a half inch all the way instead of quarter of an inch. And you gotta leave an opening so we can turn them. Inside you go. Right sides together. And then after I get this done, I will show you the whole set. 
I yeah, because I want to see how that little hanger thing worked. Oh, that turned out so beautiful, Martha. You're going to make one <laughs> when you get your kitchen all done. And then I'm going to phone my daughter and say, happy birthday. Come and get your birthday present. Here, I just want to line up my seams. Holly, seriously, I'm done. I'm done. <coughs> oh, come on, people, deliver my stuff already. Right. Is it sale for delivering? Yeah, it's supposed to be delivered today. Okay, we're gonna sew half inch. And we're going to start near the corner here. Come on. So five eighths is here. I'm going to sew five eighths because I really think they're a little too tall for the bowls. So let's do hmm, five eighths. Yes. I kind of didn't leave myself a whole lot of room there, but at least I've got my sewing machine to follow. So five minutes. What are you chewing on? Oh, garbage. Get your bum out of my way. Garbage, garbage, garbage. <laughs> Give me that. No. Oh, and Nan, Nan's finally here, too. Hi, Nan. I'm not crafting. I got to go in there and slop some paint. Unfortunately, I started this in a bad spot, so don't do what I did, because now it's going to be a little bit harder to do, to turn this. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to break this open a little bit because that I went too deep and I didn't leave myself enough room to turn this and I don't want to do it on the corner or the seam so I'll just break this open all the way up to there and where is there mm -hmm. no that's Tiana <laughs> Tiana the table hog. A little monster munchkin. That's what she is. She's a monster munchkin. Yeah, it's the assistant. Tiana's your assistant. I'll say assistant, all right. Assistant brat. <laughs> Ah, you dirty pygmy.
What are you doing? Garbage picker. She says, I want to chew. Yeah, she was chewing all right. Excuse me. <laughs> Holly. You're done, girlfriend. You're done. Get out of here. You are such a pest. You're not eating garbage. <laughs> Don't even try to act good. Because you are not good. You are not a good girl. You want to drink a key? It's got pepper in it. Close that door and leave the heat outside. It's starting to get really warm out there. Taste that. It's got chili in it. You don't like it, eh? I figured so. Sure you don't want any more? <laughs> what is it? It's, it's tea. Oh. But it's hot because it's got chili in it. Watch your bottom. Now, we're going to go around and trim all of this to a quarter inch. Try anyway. Without cutting seams. Right? I don't think she liked that pepper tea. Probably going to make her sick now. Shouldn't give that to her. She gets an upset stomach very quickly. She can't, I can't even take her in a car. She throws up the second she gets in it. That one's done. Oh, Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight. Oh. What about Harbor Freight? I wonder if they got the blades. What kind of blades? I need blades for my jigsaw. Harbor or uh, Home Depot and uh, uh, the other brick. They had no blades. Um, the other hardware store didn't have any that'll fit mine. Oh, dear. I'll check Harbor Freight. Now, I think what I'm going to do, instead of cutting things in here, I'm just going to cut very close to the seam. That will help it to turn it out. Because I don't feel like cutting a bunch of notches in here. No, 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 no. Go. Kick your little ass.
There we go. Okay. She is honestly a brat. Well, you type something in and it goes to something totally different. And then her dad will say, she's being so good. <laughs> you waited for me to just drop that and forget about it. I didn't forget. Thank you. Very good. Go away. Okay. Forgive me. <laughs> Give me. Give me. Give me. You're acting so good now. You're being just so good. I guess good. some tools you find at a rummage sale are not worth buying. Why? How old is that thing? Well, it's an old Black & Decker. It runs like a champ. Oh. Somebody's got to have it. They don't Somebody. have it. Hi, feisty lady. Sorry I didn't see you come in. Ruby, I am only six hours from you. Oh, you are then? Where do you live? You can't be too far then. Can you excuse me? Where do you live, man? No, you can't help me. I have to do this by myself. I have to do it. <laughs> You're killing me! She's in Minnesota. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You are very close to me. <laughs> That's the border to me. Is the Minnesota border. She's closer to you than I am. Yeah, because she's see, in it's Minnesota. Four hours to the bridge. Probably another eight hours to get up to there, plus crossing over. So, yeah, you're eight, nine, twelve, probably about 13 hours away from me. Yeah. Yeah, I would cross over to the Michigan Bridge at Sault Ste. Marie. Yeah. 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 That's how I traveled to down in Toronto. I always went in Sault Ste. Marie. Martha, you're close to Debbie Baker, she said. Okay. okay. Did you want to get in the bowl? No, I don't need help. But thank you. I don't need help. Thank you. You're more towards the New York side. I don't need. <laughs> Which would be uh, Niagara Falls area. I don't need help, sweetheart. Sit. Here, have some food. <laughs> okay, that's better. Well, yeah, if everybody's got them type of glass bowls, yeah, that's cool. No, this is meant for all kind of universal size. I know, but I'm saying they fit them bowls really good. <laughs> no, they, they're act, this is actually a little bit big. So if anyone eats soup like Jeff, you eat it in a big bowl. Windsor, Detroit Bridge. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Windsor, okay. Yeah, Detroit Bridge is what? Maybe two hours? That's done. Amy's three hours from Niagara Falls. Oh, my God. I've been to Niagara Falls a couple times, and my favorite place to go look at is uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. 
Oh, yeah. I've been to Niagara Falls a lot. Three or four times. I love it there. Yeah, very, very beautiful. Very romantic. I went in the Skylon Tower there. The, I went into the rotating restaurant. Yeah, yeah. I've been up in there. I wasn't too crazy about going in the Skylon Tower up that glass tower, that glass elevator. Uh, I had to close yeah. my eyes. I was about to puke. Yeah. It's like going up the CN Tower. <laughs> and I did that once when I was young. All right. There's one bowl cozy that needs to be ironed. Okay, my love. Ready to help me? You ready to help me turn it out? Oh, shoot. I did not backstitch here, Tiana. Let's backstitch. Let's do some backstitching because it's pulling out. Get your little beak out of there. All right, you ready to help now? All right, get your face in there. Rip it out. There you go. Catch it. Pull. Pull. You can do it. Come on. <laughs> rip it. Rip it. Pull. Help me. Turn it out. Turn it out. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. No, I just want to rip it apart. <laughs> <laughs> she, <laughs> she ain't going to let go. <laughs> She's helping. She's doing it. Look at this. Good girl. You're helping me. Oh, my goodness. You're so good. Aw. There's Tia. Aw. Look at her little dressy she got on. Yeah, we leave her diaper. We only put that diaper on her at night. There we go. Thank you for your help. That was super cute of you. She says, okay, my job is done. Yep. Her job is done, all right. Man, these bowl cozies are for all kinds of soup bowls. They're not just one one size fits all. This will fit a big soup bowl too. Just saying. Yeah, no, you didn't do a good job here. You didn't do a good job. I'm telling you. Fluffies. It was just some fluffies. You're just being so good. This is the, the time-consuming part, I think, is turning this out and getting all these seams flattened I'm getting this turned under so it can be top stitch oh I don't want the looks of that push that out there we go Frick. what's wrong no luck. Huh? No luck finding your jigsaw blades? No. Did you break no, one? I've seen so far is at Walmart. Did you break one or did it just No, stay? it it came with it, but there's some there's like two different other type of blades you can buy now. Right. And they don't have the hole in it that the the screw goes in to hold it in. Oh, okay, I got you. So it's like, well, I really don't want to buy a new tool. Although I do have a, okay. a rotary handsaw in the shed. Right. Uh, All right, let's do a little bit of ironing. Flatten this out a little before I actually... <laughs> 
Isn't she a good little girl? What are you after? But I gotta do some ironing. I gotta do some ironing. I gotta, I gotta put you down. I had some on Amazon, but geez, you know, you got to spend at least $25 to get free shipping. It's like, I'll be right back. Okay. I'm so upset. I don't have enough batting. I have to go buy a package of it Yay! Yay! Fire ban is lifted in Ontario. Well, where we live. Yay! Open fire cooking tonight, guys. Oh, yeah? Yes, I couldn't do any open fire cooking all summer. We've had. Oh, well, you got hamburger. You can cook hamburgers. No, I'm not making those. I don't want hamburgers. Well, not on the open fire. Then have a marshmallow. Nope, be, I'm cooking something. Be good with it. With it. I'm going to use some of my fresh garden vegetables that they got last night out of our garden. And make what? I'm not sure yet. Jeff's taking something out of the freezer. That that hamburger I took out is pure lean ground beef that I made. It's very dry. It's too lean. Oh, so you need some bacon grease with it. Oh, no, that's Ew. right. You don't like bacon grease. No. No bacon grease for this girl. I think my daughter is going to absolutely love these, these bowl cozies. And they'll fit her bowls because I think she's got deep round ones. Amy says do a stir fry. Pork chops? Yeah, pork chops. We'll cook those on the open fire. All right, so that just needs a good go around with the top stitch. Look at that. Look how cute. A little bit of ironing. So did you make your measurements when you uh, did your darts? Did you make them different? Yes. I'm going to link. I'm going to write out the pattern. Actually, I'm going to write it all out. Everything that I've made. But I'm not doing it today. Because um, I'm going to do it tomorrow. As I When I come back tomorrow, I'm going to run quickly to Fabricland in the morning. Oh, shit. They don't open until 10. Okay, I'm going to order it online and get them to just put it outside for me. And I could just run in and grab it real quick on their curbside pickup because they don't open till 10 o'clock. And I'm not going to, and it's way on the other side of town where I got to go. Which is kind of a piss off. They moved there. All right. Let's give these a little sew job. And then our set is done. And I'll show you the whole complete set. So three, three millimeter stitch, quarter inch. No, sorry, eighth of an inch, not quarter inch. Joanne Fabrics now has international shipping. 
Who? Joanne Fabrics. They thought they went back to international shipping. Yep. For sure. That's what I just heard. Where did you hear this? From Brenda. Oh, Brenda, thank you for telling us that. Tell her I said thank you. I was so heartbroken. I even phoned them and told them off. And this was back in 2016 because I got all my stuff from Joanne's delivered here. And then they said no longer as of end of December 31st or September, I think it was, or November, I don't remember, of 2016, they were no longer shipping international to Canada. And I was like, oh my God, are you kidding me? I bet you they lost a lot of business. I bet you they did too, because there's not many fabric stores around anymore. No, we just have a fabric land. Oh my God, Brenda! Thanks you know, if you don't go to Joanne's, you're going to go to Walmart. And... Yeah, but Joanne's is so cheap. Was it? Especially 20? if they have their like forty percent offs. Yes. Oh my God, I'm so. Pumped. I miss Hancock Fabric. That's the one I miss. Brenda just made my day. <laughs> they had so many fabrics. All right, that one didn't cut. Okay, fair enough. So tomorrow when I come back to make this, um, I might even ask Jeff to run to Fabricland when they get my order ready, if he can go get it so I have it in the morning. Um, when I come back tomorrow, I'll give all the measurements. I'm going to recut a whole new set out of that brown fabric. It's going to be so pretty. And then I'll write them all down as, uh, as I cut. So this one here, you're going to sew it at 5 eighths of an inch. Or if you want it to be bigger, you're going to leave it alone. I don't want it bigger, so. National Dog Day. Okay. So happy dog day. Happy dog day, Tiana. And Tia. And Tia. And Tia. Yeah. I don't know where you came from. All right. That is perfect. We need to trim some threads. I definitely need to. Lint brush it. Where did I join this? Hmm. Maybe I cut all the threads off. I may just have done that. I just may have done that. Here is my starter right here. Tucker waves his paw. Oh, happy dog Aww. day, Tucker. Happy dog day, Tucker. Okay, so let's clean these up a little. Look at all the fuzzies on this from the batting. On the black, especially. Wow, look at all that. Looks like dog hair, <laughs> but it's not. Alright. I want to get everything covered in lint. 
so I will just do a clean up. All right. I see a fuzzy right here. So there is that bowl, cozy. That bowl, cozy. Let me zoom out. Uh, zoom out. Okay. A round and a square bowl fits perfectly. Then you've got the larger one that I redid to fit the larger serving bowl. So this is my set that I'm going to sell at Christmas, but not this one. And here is a pot holder that I made with two finger pot holders. So these... That turned out cute. Yes. So these go... Here, you can lift up your really hot stuff, put it in your thing, lift it up. When you're done with them, just take your hands out and they're black so they'll stay clean. They go right back into your pot holder. You can put your hot pot on here. And I like them kind of like that. And that's the finished backing on it as well. That's so good. So you get one big bowl and two small bowls. Yep. For a set, and I, I'm thinking I might sell the set for forty dollars because that's a lot of fabric. That's what if somebody bowl. says, "Well, don't you have one for four bowls?" I'll say no. The four bowls, you're gonna have to buy another set, or I can make you four bowls. Look at, and I just cleaned this one, and it's all covered in lint again. That's my set here. The bowl cozies in here. Set them like that with the pot holder set. How cute is that? What other colors you got to make? Um, tomorrow I'm going to be making this set in this brown beige and rose color. This is going to make, this is really pretty. Yeah, this going to make nice. Yeah, this is going to make some gorgeous, gorgeous ones. Now, is this material you bought just for this or just scrap? No, this was the material I bought to do the lunch kits, remember? But I'm not doing it because I think these would sell better than the lunch kits as a set. Yes. Because people love bowl cozies. Yeah. Like, if I had enough fabric, I would make a set of four bowls, but <coughs> there's the big one and two small ones. And sometimes, this is nice for an elderly couple because they're soups. They kind of yeah. shake a little bit, you know, they're shaky people. Nice for a wedding present because, you know, you start out with two people. Yep. Yeah. And uh, you got two bowls and you got your soup bowl, your pot for your nice. thing. And that's to serve it with. I really like this. <laughs> and this here is insole bright inside of here, inside of here. And on the back of this, inside of this is um, a, a batting. You can put your hot pot right from the oven, right onto your... Hot pad, yeah. Yep, right onto your hot pad. That's a good idea. Yep, and it won't ruin. Yep, yep, yep. Won't ruin your uh, countertop. Cute set. I have, yeah, but I have a um, um, granite countertop, so you can put hot pots on it. But um, on a kitchen table, you definitely want to have a hot pad. Yeah. So, you know, serve your soup on your hot pad in the bowl like this. That fits in there. You're going to fit all kinds of size bowls in there. Serve it on your table in there with your soup on each side. Now, look at how pretty that's going to look. It's going to make your table look gorgeous. So, tomorrow, I give you all the measurements. I will be linking the site to where you have to go get the pattern for these. Um, yeah, she gives the pattern for free. But I will link her because she deserves to have credit for, you know, you need the pattern to make these anyways. And she deserves to have credit. Give credit where due. That's, that's for sure. Absolutely right. So there. 
How cute. I love these. Good. I need a set for myself, but I want to go find my own kind of green and brown fabric. So to my daughter, I'm just going to give her the rest of this. Like this is a bigger one. I don't like this one because it needed to be deeper. I'll just give her the rest, the whole set. So this is for a big bowl, huge bowl. Yep. That one could be for a big bowl. And she gets an oven mitt with hers. Because <laughs> I'm not going to do anything with that. Her kitchen's all black and white. That's going to go perfect in her kitchen. Oh, yeah. That'll look good. Yeah. Her kitchen table is solid black. Her curtains are all white. Fridge and stove. Everything's all white. That's going to go nice. Absolutely. So when I come back tomorrow, guys, we're going to make a new set. We're going to cut everything out minus this. If, you know what, if I have enough fabric to cut two more fabric bowls, I will make a set of four. Because right now, as it stands, I have a meter and a one in one meter and one quarter of a meter. So um i i i'm pretty sure i'm going to be able to get four cozies out of there including this little pot holder these take basically scraps to make yeah debbie said it'd be great with matching placemats too oh yeah but see i don't have enough of this fabric but my daughter is going to love this i can promise you that one oven mitt because she can always use the pot holder and the oven mitt together see pick up something big i don't know there's an idea you could use that for a finger hand or a hand job too whatever you know what i mean okay i'm gonna get going um it's fine go tomorrow i'm gonna go to fabric land and go order me some um batting i need 100 percent cotton and they're probably very expensive I'm going to try Michael's first. I don't know if Michael sells batting, but I doubt it. Uh, Michael's? No. No, I don't think so. No. They're more craft than sewing. Yeah. Yeah. That is very linty. There we go. Now it looks good. But she wants black. She's getting, she doesn't even know. She's getting black. I'm just Good trying to get she don't them. watch the show, right? She doesn't. She's at work. She works in a lab, in a lab, life labs. They do uh, blood testing, you know, in all the hospitals. Yeah. All that stuff goes to life labs. So that's where she works. All right. So I'll see all you guys right. tomorrow. Have a blessed day. God bless. Bye. Thank you all for being Bye. here. Bye. Bye.